When each of my younger brothers started the school that I'd already been attending for some time, they were greeted by their teachers with frustrated and desperate cries of, No! Another Hammond! Which, oddly enough, is the exact opposite of the problem facing this, the new Subaru Impreza, because its older brother was a right swap, good at everything, including sport. When it came to the exterior of the new Impreza, those folks at Subaru obviously decided they needed to keep a recognisable shape, so at first glance, not that different. Look a little closer and things like the new big wide-eyed headlamps start to make it look rather different, in, if anything, slightly less aggressive, a little bit more maybe Euro-friendly. Subaru will tell you that despite it not looking that different, the Impreza is now about 200 odd percent stiffer through the chassis. Incredible, and I don't know how they did it. The net result is it's certainly not exactly a sloppy drive, but you'll notice straight away it is not an old Impreza. It does feel a bit bigger, a bit more grown up. Still got a huge amount of mid range grunt from that lovely flat four engine, and it still sounds gorgeous. And it is still a very fast car. That four wheel drive, you can tell, that has not been derived from a shopping car, put it this way. I just feel so sorry for the poor bloke or woman who was sat down in a corner of an office somewhere and said, oh, there you go, just uh, design us a new Impreza, will you? Follow that. Can't have been easy. And they were faced with a stark choice. They could have gone down either the just brash performance route as maybe it was going, or decided to compromise it a little bit, make it a bit more comfortable for the simple fact it would pick up more sales. But to do that, you're always going to be looking over your shoulder to keep an eye on what the competition is doing. I just realised, I forgot the shopping. Better go round again, eh? Tally ho. A bit more friendly it might be, a bit more comfortable it might be, but it is still a performance car, every bit. In actual fact, the Impreza has always made a lot of sense, but its extra performance edge has maybe scared a few people off in the past. Now though, with its extra bias in favour of comfort, the few people that it will lose because they favour pure performance, it will gain many times over, with customers who realise the Impreza Turbo really is nothing to be scared of.